Welcome to a thrilling adventure where we explore the wonderful worlds of the farm and the zoo. Have you ever wondered why a cow lives in a barn and a lion lives in a savanna habitat? This is your chance to become an animal explorer and discover the special homes of all your favorite creatures. We'll learn that animals live in different places based on their needs and that both farms and zoos are carefully designed to be safe, comfortable homes for the animals that live there. First, let's pull on our boots and visit the sunny, open fields of the farm. Here, we meet animals that are domesticated. Unlike many birds whose colors come from pigments, the green color in their feathers is primarily a trick of the light. Parrots have a unique feather structure that contains microscopic, spongy keratin arrays. These structures scatter incoming light, reflecting a specific wavelength that we see as a brilliant, iridescent blue. Underneath this blue reflecting layer, parrots have a yellow pigment called Grasshoppers can jump up to 20 times their body length thanks to their strong hind legs. Grasshoppers make sounds, called stridulation, by rubbing their hind legs against their wings to attract females. Grasshoppers look like small, wingless adults and molt several times as they grow. Grasshoppers live in grasslands, forests, deserts, and even urban areas, called stridulation, Honeybees live in colonies with a complex social structure including a queen, worker bees, and drones. Honeybees are responsible for pollinating around one-third of the food we eat, including fruits, vegetables, and nuts. The buzzing comes from the rapid beating of their wings about 200 times per second. Honeybees perform a dance to communicate the location of flowers, The secretary bird is legendary for its ability to hunt and kill venomous snakes, including cobras and adders. However, snakes make up only a small part of its diet, which also includes insects, rodents, lizards, and young birds. Its primary hunting method is stomping. It walks through the grass, flushing out prey. The secretary bird is legendary for its ability to hunt and kill venomous snakes, including cobras and adders. Red imported fire ants are native to South America, but they have spread to the United States, Australia, China, and other countries. Red ants can sting repeatedly and inject venom that causes burning pain, itching, and pustules. Red ants have a caste system with queens, reproduction, workers, foraging, nest maintenance, and soldiers, defense. Macaws are one of the longest living parrots, with many species living for 50 to 80 years, sometimes even longer in captivity. They play a vital role in their ecosystem. By eating fruits and nuts and flying long distances, they disperse seeds in their droppings, helping to regenerate the rainforest. Macaws are one of the longest living parrots, with many species living for 50 to 80 years,
They thrive in dirty, damp, and dark places like sewers, drains, and garbage. This association with unsanitary conditions makes them a vector for bacteria like E, coli, and salmonella, which they can pick up on their legs and bodies and then track onto our food and surfaces. That sudden, unpredictable scuttling is deeply unsettling. A hawk's eyesight is eight times sharper than a human's. They can spot a mouse from a mile away. They have a high density of photoreceptors in their retinas and a unique structure that acts like a telephoto lens. Powerful talons. Their feet are their primary weapons. They have sharp, curved talons for piercing and gripping prey. They have a high density of photoreceptors in their retinas Dragonflies are living fossils. They existed long before the dinosaurs, with fossil records dating back over 300 million years. The prehistoric ancestors of today's dragonflies, like Meganeura, had wingspans of up to 2.5 feet, 75 centimeters. They can hover in place for up to a minute, fly backwards, A female cuckoo specializes in parasitizing a specific host species like reed warblers, dunnocks, or pipits. She will lay a single egg that has evolved to perfectly mimic the color, pattern, and size of the host's eggs. This deception is so the host birds don't recognize the foreign egg. Rhinoceros beetles are a group of large, herbivorous insects belonging to the subfamily Dynastinae. They are named for the distinctive horns on the males, which they use to fight other males for mates and territory, much like their mammalian namesakes, herbivore. Larvae eat decaying wood and plant matter, while adults feed on sap, fruit, and nectar. Rhinoceros beetles are a group of large, herbivorous insects belonging to the subfamily Dynastinae. Seagulls are incredibly intelligent and have learned to thrive in human environments. They are famous for tool use. Some gulls have been observed using bread as bait to fish. They will drop pieces of bread into the water to attract fish, then swoop down to catch them. Food theft. They will readily steal food from other birds, animals, and even humans. Seagulls are incredibly intelligent and have learned to thrive in human environments. They are famous for... Ockatoos are highly intelligent and incredibly social creatures that form deep, lifelong bonds with their mates or human owners. This need for companionship makes them prone to psychological distress if neglected. They can develop severe separation anxiety, leading to destructive behaviors like feather plucking and self-mutilation if they feel lonely or bored. Leading to destructive behaviors like feather plucking and self-mutilation if they feel lonely or bored. Red palm weevil is a major insect pest that destroys palm trees from the inside out. It causes severe damage without any early visible signs of infection. 
Red palm weevil larvae tunnel deep into the tree trunk and feed on soft tissues. This feeding weakens the tree, often leading to its death. Red palm weevil is a serious economic threat to coconut and date palm industries. Farmers lose millions every year due to weevil attacks and feed on soft tissues. We meet animals that are domesticated, which means they have lived with people for a long, long time. We'll hear the roosters crow and see pigs rolling in the mud, sheep grazing in the pasture, and horses in the stable.